Hello friends, another comparison of two new age titans in this video. The last comparison was on the wheeled tractors of gear and case, the largest mangum against the largest 8R. We took the initiative to make a comparison on RX and Smartrax models, but because the video would be too average with the last one, we decided to compare a twin tractor of case magnum, the brand new New Holland T8435 Genesis with PLM intelligence, against the largest 8RX model of John Deere, the 8RX410. The numbers of specifications on tracked editions are much different, so let's see which comes first here on power size performance and innovations, the largest T8 smart racks, or the largest 8RX Deere? By the way subscribe like and share this video because we need more views, also use the bell button to take notifications, so enough talk, let's compare. So, the Holland from one side wears the FPT Cursor 9 engine of 8.7 liters and 6 cylinders, stage V, it is the third largest FPT engine after the 15.9 liters weird by axial flow combines and the 12.9 liters of Quantrack models, Deere RX from the other side wears a larger engine of 9 liters and 6 cylinders, the John Deere Powertech PSS B8 diesel compatible, tier 4, so the RX has larger engine than the largest Genesis. The gross power of the Holland is at 396 horses, it can touch the 417 horses with ISO and a max boost at 435. Deere from the other side is slightly larger on gross power, starting from 410 horses, it can touch the 443 horses and a max boost at 458 horses with the IPM. So the RX is a little more powerful on overall HP. The PTO claimed of the Genesis is at 345 horses with Ultra Command, Deere's is lower, at 310 horses max. The peak torque of Genesis is at 1850 Newton meters on 1300 revolutions per minute, RX's is about the same, at 1851 Newton meters on 1600 revolutions per minute, so both have almost the same torque but the Genesis can touch its peak on Muke B lower revolutions, even lower than its tween, the AFS 400 Magnum. The rear hitch lift of the Holland is at 9,026 kg with the front one touching the 5,810 max, RX steers rear from the other side is higher than Holland's, at 12,124 kg at optional behind lift points, with the front one being at 5,200 kg, lower than Genesis. The top road speed of the Deer is at 40 to 42 km per hour. The tracked models have lower speed than the wheeled ones, wearing the power shift with efficiency manager or John Deere Auto Power EVT transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 924 liters or 829 liters with EVT. Some of the cabine innovations are perforated leather seat, heated ventilated, with electronic controls, pneumatic lumbar swivel, two-zone massage, inflatable side and extendable seat cushion, touchscreen radio, XM ready, sound system with subwoofer, Gen 4 extended monitor, electronic joystick, 22 LED work lights and 8 LED convenience lights, electric, heated, and telescoping mirrors, front right hand side and rear sunshades and wipers, front and rear cameras, business band ready, 4 USB ports, 12 volts outlet, foot rests, refrigerator, right hand accessory rail, carpeted floor mat, leather wrapped steering wheel and more. Holland's top speed on the road from the other side is the same, at 40 km per hour, wearing the Ultra Command full power shift or the Auto Command continuously variable transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 617 liters, much more economical than the Deers 1, some of the cabine innovations are Blue Power Auto Comfort leather seat, semi-active, 5 modes, active electronic, pneumatic, heating and active ventilation, passenger seat, Blue Power roof insignia, front and rear cameras, up to 24 LED working lights, all new Sidewinder Ultra Armrest and Intelliview 12 monitor, front and rear sun visors, portable cooler and more. So, we saw the performance and innovations, let's now compare the size of these two. The Genesis basic weight with Smartrax is at 16,233 kg and it can touch the 18,700 kg fully ballasted. Deer from the other side is a heavier tractor starting from a basic weight of 19,500 kg with IVT and it can touch the 20,000 kg of max ballasted weight and the 24,040 kg of max permissible as RX. The wheelbase of Genesis is 3.55 meters. Deer's is smaller at 3.23 meters, the max length of the Holland is at 6.6 .6 meters, Deer is smaller, at 6.3 meters. The height of the cab of the Holland is at 3.45 meters, Deer is visibly taller as RX, at 3.73 meters. The service interval oil change of the Deer is every 500 hours, Holland's takes a little longer, at 600 hours. All the sources are at the description. So, as a conclusion, 
The Holland has higher PTO power, same torque with Deer on lower RPM, higher front linkage capacity, smaller fuel tank, it is longer on size with larger wheelbase and it needs more hours for oil change. The fact that it is a lighter tractor with smaller engine and smaller fuel tank is an indication of a more economical tractor. Deer from the other side is larger engine, higher gross and boosted power, higher rear hitch lift, larger fuel tank. It is a heavier tractor with higher ballasted and permissible weight, also it is taller on size. These indications shows it is a stronger tractor. Which of the two would you choose? Blue or green? Waiting your comments, see also these two interesting videos, subscribe us for more, have fan.